Welcome to the Master's Table. Thank you for joining us today. What a beautiful day God has given us. I'm your co-host, Tina Cleveland. This is my better half, Pastor Frankie, and he is your host. He's going to be preparing a wonderful dish for you today, and I'm going to let him tell you what he's going to be preparing. Well, actually, you're going to be preparing today. Well, this, this, is, this is Tina's. This is one of her favorite recipes, so we're going to cook, we're going to cook a, a chili... Chili... Uh, Pie casserole. Okay, I, I didn't know how to. I didn't know exactly what to say. If it's a casserole, <laughs> a pie, whatever. But this, this is one of these quick, come home, kid friendly meals that you can throw together. And this is probably budget friendly, probably uh, ten, probably, twelve dollars. Yep. Um, a, a, a good fast meal that everybody likes if you yep. like chili. So, yep. uh, we'll we'll come in. I, I will be back in a minute, but we'll go over the ingredients. We'll we'll go through everything we're going to put in it. Um, very simple. This is stuff that you probably already have in your cupboard at home already. And um, just a, maybe a pound and a half, two pounds of ground beef. All that's optional. But uh, we're going we're gonna to throw it together and let Tina do her magic over there. Like I say, this is her dish. This is, Brother Frank is just helping today. I, I'm, I'm the co-host <laughs> today. She's going to be the host. But we're going to get it all put together. And, and uh, an apple, apple crisp. Yeah, that's we right. We also have an easy apple crisp for you also. Very easy. It's a, a dessert. Um, and throw some ice cream on it. We'll get to all that, but um, take a seat, get a pen and pencil. And a piece of paper. And a piece of paper. And a highlighter and start writing because we got something good coming. Yep. So we'll be back in just a moment. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we told you to get ready, get a seat. We're fixing to prepare this dish. This is a Frito chili pie casserole. So we're going to- I was tongue tied with that a while ago. <laughs> Either way, it's good. So we're going to start with three cups of Fritos. Um, you're not going to use all three cups at one time. You're going to put two cups in a casserole dish. So we're going to pour those in there. While she's dumping in, while I'm, she's going to continue to talk. I'm going to dump this. this. This is about a. This is probably a pound and a half. This could be. I didn't measure this out. This could be close to two pounds. Like I say, this meat is is optional. Uh, I know what stuff costs at the grocery store. Yep. And I look for what's on sale. I look for what's on sale. You know, a lot of times they'll, they'll mark it down. As the date goes getting close, they'll mark it down. Buy that and put it in your freezer. And it's always good for whenever you want to use it. So, but this is probably roughly, probably maybe, like I said, a pound and a half. Maybe it might be two pounds. Um, but uh, I'm going to get that going. And if you want to continue talking about what you got going on here, and I'm going to go ahead and be chopping up this onion right quick. I do, and I want to tell you why. We, this recipe calls for a can of chili, but we're making our own chili. So Frankie can tell you what he puts in his chili. Um, we just thought it would be good to have something um, homemade. So we, we always like to add a little different things our way. So tell them what's in the chili. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of grated cheese over the Fritos. And while he's telling you how to make the chili, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and peel this onion. I'm probably not gonna just as a large onion. I would say use a medium, maybe a, a, just a medium or a small onion for this because it's not a whole lot in this. I'm gonna turn that up just a little bit, and I'm gonna go over these seasonings as we put them in there. I'm gonna get this chopped real fast. But like I said, this is a large onion, so I don't think that it'll 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 require all of this. But we're gonna take, like I say, this is like I say, a pound and a half or so. Of, of ground beef, and if you had a small or medium onion, that's about what you'd wind up with right here. So I'm gonna take about about half of this large onion, and I'll save that one for another time. We'll eat it later. We're always ready to eat, so I'm gonna go ahead and while that's while that's started, we're gonna go ahead and dump this so we can go and get this coming together. Um, let me get the rest of that right there. That groove that don't want to work real well for me. <laughs> Right. Like any dish that we always do, you can add or subtract any of the ingredients. You can add more cheese. You can add more Fritos. It's kind of, you know, if you want to follow make the recipe, do that. But make it your own, whatever you like. We love cheese. We eat a lot of cheese. So I always put a little extra cheese in, in my recipes. I, I always tell Tina she's cheesy. We love cheese. I like cheese. You know, that's the, my two favorite go-tos. I'm putting these gloves on. I normally don't cook with gloves. Don't really like gloves because, you know, when we're hanging around in the kitchen a lot, we're always, uh, we're always washing our hands a lot. So uh, my hands were clean when it started. I just like to be able to feel stuff and do it. But anytime my food with a jalapeno, I like to put gloves on because I don't know, it's always and it never fails to happen if I food with a pepper and cut it up with my hands, I always wind up touching my face or my eyes. So if, if you're gonna deal with these jalapenos, 
be sure and put your own pair of gloves so that you don't you don't you don't let that happen because that's really <laughs> it don't feel good at all. But I'm gonna cut up. This is a pretty large. Uh, I was kind of impressed when I picked these up. I like jalapenos, these fresh ones, and this one was uh, this is a pretty large jalapeno. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop this up. We're gonna add this. Mm -hmm. We're gonna heat. Waiting on the ground beef. We're gonna heat you up, Miss Cleveland. I'm gonna turn it on up. I'm just trying to get this. Get this chopped up. I don't know. You think we need that whole jalapeno? I think no. we ought to warm it up a little bit. You don't <laughs> no. think so? Maybe that much. Maybe save that. Yeah. Cause it will cook. It won't be. It won't be near as bad once it cooks. And I'm gonna turn this on up in just a little bit. And we get this going. I'm gonna. I'm gonna go over these seasonings. What we are gonna put in there? Mm -hmm. But what I was gonna say about that cheese. You know, we talk about cheese all the time. I love cheese. And I think I got you enough cheese there. I got some more mm -hmm. I can get out if I need to. But um. I love cheese, cheese, and this W sauce right here. This what's, what's your sister? <laughs> Worcestershire sauce. I call it the W because I always get tongue tied. That W sauce and cheese is always my go-to. It winds up in everything I do. Sometimes I try to figure out how to put cheese and W sauce on everything. It's like butter. It makes everything better, right? I, guess so. I love butter and I love cheese. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on up a little bit, Miss Cleveland. You wanna? Start putting your um, your apple. Yep, let's do that. that. This is a. Um, I like um, that because you know what? She, she cooked this at home. We're gonna put and this I, right here. And I never had, I never had an eat eaten that before. And I really, 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 I probably ate too much of it. Miss Cleveland will fatten me up by well, cooking all this stuff. This is called Easy Apple Crisp. Um, and what it is, we're going to take two thirds cup of brown sugar. I've already poured it out in this dish, and I like to beat it down a little bit and mix it up. And then you're gonna take a half a cup of flour, and you're gonna sift it now. I don't know if any of y'all know what a sifter is. This is a sifter. My mom used to use a sifter all the time when making biscuits. My granny had one I was telling you was talking about last night. My granny had one that, that you squeezed. And when you squeezed that sifter, that flour went everywhere. She'd have flour all over her arm, all over the counter. But I remember that, that sifter. You know, you gotta, you gotta have a sifter to get all the husk and the bow weevils out of it. Mm. Amen. So, mm. um, <laughs> old school. I'm old talking about school. old school. Old yep. school is best in everything. Yep. We're gonna keep pouring. I just like, I don't like to put it all in there at one time so that it gets good. And well, the good thing about it, you don't have any, you do that, you don't have any clumps and it does clean, it does clean your flour and it just makes it real, real now, fluffy, easy to work with. Next thing you're gonna put in is one cup of instant oatmeal. Instant oatmeal, that's all it is. And that, 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 that equals out to about, about three yeah. cut, three packs yeah, about of three, instant oatmeal. About three of those packs is what we had measured out and it comes up so close to a cup that, uh, that it works. And then again, if you don't like oatmeal, don't put oatmeal in it. This, yeah, but that kind of that kind of takes. I know. I'm just saying, but you know, if if you don't like oatmeal, you don't you don't have to put the oatmeal in it. Just like just like this chili that I'm putting together. If you don't like a lot of onions, don't put onions in it. If you don't like the jalapenos, don't put them. Maybe um, I, I almost chopped up a bell pepper, but I wanted to keep this as a quick. But you know, you could put um you could chop up a half a bell pepper or a whole bell pepper and put in this instead of the jalapeno. I love the bell pepper. Um, I like all of them. But okay. um, this is coming together good right here, Miss Cleveland. Good. Okay. So your dry ingredients, the brown sugar, the flour, and the oatmeal, you're going to put them in there together and just mix them up. Get them good. And some people like a spoon. I like sifters. I mean, um, whisk. Sorry. I got sifter on my mind. You want to use my handy dandy chopper over there? No. This, this is the this is the best dollar I ever spent. When it comes to, to doing any kind of ground beef or mince meat or chopping and doing this right here, and uh, I see them in a lot of stores. Um, but you can get it, and I promise you, if you go to the right place, it won't cost you but a dollar, and you'll thank me for it later because this thing right here really works magic on this okay. ground beef. Now what I'm okay. Go now ahead. go ahead. You go ahead and get that. I'm I'm gonna start adding in this. 
Okay, the easy apple crisp. After you put your dry ingredients together and mix those up, then you're gonna take a half a cup of melted butter. I went ahead and melted it just for time's sake. Pour it in there and mix it together. This is making your crust. Butter makes everything better. And I, Butter makes everything better. I always put a little bit more butter than it calls for. But then again, if you need to substitute that for something that's, you know, just a little less fattening than butter, um, you can reach for a healthy alternative to go in that. Um, we're supposed to watch what we eat, but you know, normally I don't. I say just eat it like it says. Okay, this is coming together good. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and start. I didn't go over these seasons to begin with, and I'm sure they're gonna show them on the screen. This is probably two and a half um, probably two and a half tablespoons of, of chili powder. Just regular chili powder. I'm gonna go ahead and add this. Then again, you can adjust that. You can put a little more, a little less if you want to. It's according to how much chili flavor you really like in it. This is a, this is a teaspoon of cumin. We're gonna put a little bit of cumin in it. Teaspoon. This is a teaspoon of smoked paprika. I love the smoked paprika. I put it in just about everything I cook. I like it. Now, I'm gonna mix that and let those, let that soak into the meat just a second and I'm gonna add a little bit of, I'm gonna show you my secret ingredient here in just a second. I'm put some knock your socks off with this one. You ain't, gonna, you ain't gonna think it's gonna work, but it's uh, it's what takes this over the top. You know, most cooks, and I'm, I, I'm, not, a, I'm not a professional chef, I'm not a, I'm, I'm not a, a uh, a, a real cook per se. I just love to cook. Uh, but you pick up little pro tips along the way and that's what I like to call them. I'm gonna show you what, what we would call a pro tip. I'm gonna add, go ahead and add, this is one cup of chicken broth, chicken stock. You can get chicken paste and mix it with water however you wanna do it. But this is just regular old chicken broth, store broth, chicken broth. I didn't have any fresh at home. Generally try to save that when we boil chicken at home. But we're gonna mix that in and let this start coming together a little bit more. And y'all not gonna believe this, 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 this last little something we're gonna kick in. You know, I can't do anything without putting a little Creole in. I gotta sprinkle. Yeah. This is just a little, this is just a, that ain't even a, that ain't even a, that's just a, 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 a pinch. That's I, a I lot. love a little bit of Creole, just to give it a little bit more flavor. I know people say, ah, oh, Creole don't go in chili. Creole goes in everything. I like it in everything. We put just a touch of that. Now, Secret ingredient, this is cinnamon. Just regular old ground cinnamon. And we're gonna put just a little, I'm talking about just a little, maybe, I don't even know if that's a half, we'll call it a half a teaspoon. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon in your chili. You say, Brother Frankie, that does not belong in there. Trust me, you try it. Cinnamon is very good for you too. You won't go back and, and, and try it. You, you won't cook your chili any other way. And this, you know, I know a lot of people don't put beans in their chili. I'm not putting beans in this today. This would be more like a, a hot dog style chili, I would call this. Maybe wouldn't even put as many onions in it, but this is just like a this just like a re regular chili mix without the beans. But um, that cinnamon, I'm telling y'all, brothers and sisters, that cinnamon puts it right over the top. It takes it right on over the top. And while Tina's still mixing, let me go ahead. No, and, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm, to put it I'm in gonna there. go ahead and drop these other these other ingredients in. I've got. I've got a can, this is a six ounce can. I ain't even got a spoon, I can get it out with a fork. This is a six ounce can of just regular tomato paste. You can get whatever you like. I thought I had some spoons. I see them laying over on the counter and I had, I had laid it out. I knew I had one somewhere, but that's okay, this works. We're gonna get, we're gonna get most of it out. We'll come back and lick the rest of it later. Put that, let me lay this to the, put that in there. I don't want to lay that on nothing. Six ounce can of tomato paste. And this is a, I think this is, this this one can, I think this is a, I'm trying to see them here. I don't want to always just say one can. Oh, this, is, this is, this is 14.5. So just one can of these. I love the fire roasted tomatoes. Um, you buy whatever brand you, you can use regular stew, chop, whatever kind of tomatoes you want to put in this. But I love these fire roasted tomatoes. These are my favorite. These are my go-to. That's another pro tip for me. 
is uh, it just kind of pushes this recipe over the over the top just a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and take these gloves off. I'm done with that pepper. So I'm gonna go ahead and let me incorporate this in and we're gonna let this. All right, we need to put this in there so it can be. We're gonna let this cook just a few minutes. You could um, you could take this on to the next level. You know, like I say, a lot, a lot of people don't like chili in their bean. I mean, um, beans in their chili, chili in their beans. Um, but I like I like chili beans. You could put you a can of um, black beans and a can of red beans in this, and uh, you would have a, a show enough Southern style, what I would call a Southern style chili recipe. And another thing. That, that you don't have to add, but I always like to add. I guess somebody can move this, fold this a little bit more. Is is just for just for flavor, and I use it in a lot of different things. You know, if if you follow me very much, if we move forward and you, and you stay with us and don't tune me out, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna simplify and make these things real easy. And one thing I use is I like to put about two or three drops of liquid smoke. This liquid smoke, that's about just a little bit. Don't take much, just a little bit. That's, that's optional, just like everything else in this dish is optional. But I'm telling you, it's going gonna, it's gonna to give it that little, that little bit of over the top. That ground beef was done. We've added all our seasoning. You know, got to put one little splash of the W in it. Just one little... That's about all it needs right there. I told you I don't do much at all about the W. So you're about ready for this, Miss Cleveland? Yeah. Let me show them how to finish this and then we'll. Okay, go right ahead. So with the, the apple crisp, this is your crust, I guess you would say. This is the, the dry mixture with the butter. Put it in your pan, just flatten it out. Now you don't put but maybe half of this. In there, two thirds. Yeah, we was talking about that earlier. You was talking about making that. I mean, putting half or three quarters of it there in there. Again, it's just according to. I love crust. I'd rather eat crust and peach cobblers and apple crisp than anything else. So I, I always like to make the crust a little bit more. So you put it in there. And here's what she's going. To, she's trying to throw at you on that right there. All this is going to wind up in this dish. So if you like more crust on the bottom, put a little bit more crust on the bottom. And if you like a little bit more crust on the top, because the rest of it's going to wind up on the top. Mm -hmm. So. Like I say, bake this dish your own. Take a can of apple pie filling. Doesn't matter what brand. Apple pie filling. That just sounds good, don't it? All right, Miss Cleveland, I got this ready for you. Whenever you get ready over here, that's looking real good right there. Just kind of spread it out. And then you're going to take the remaining crust and you're just going to sprinkle it over the top of it. And that oven should be about, should be about. I made one of these last night and we ate it, me and my daughter ate most of it with ice cream on top of it. Mm, mm, mm. But I think next time I'm going to do a bigger pot, a bigger pan and just double the recipe. Sprinkle that on top. If you like to put more brown sugar on it, you can sprinkle a little bit more brown sugar. Put this in the oven, 350 degree oven for about 30 minutes, and it will be done. Okay? 350 so for 30 minutes. I'm gonna put minutes. it in the oven, let it cook. I'm gonna let you um, finish this off now. When, when you put cheese on here already. Do you need me to get you out some more cheese? I know you don't have a lot left um, there. We can, we can put a little bit more on that. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to so. put your dish over here and let you, I'll get you some more cheese out while, okay. while you're working. This is ready. Yep. So I'm I'll set go your. go ahead and spoon that in there. I'll set your casserole dish right there so you can, let me, let me get behind you and I'll, uh, I'll get you some more cheese. I think I got some right here. You need about a cup. Yeah. Like I said, I always add a little bit more cheese than it calls for. You can't put too much cheese. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you now, you cannot put too much cheese in anything. 
Put this back in there. Just kind of spread it out. This is more than a cup, but you need, you use whatever you need to. That's looking good and it ain't even been in the oven yet. And like I said, this is very budget friendly. If you like chili, you know, I like, I love saltine crackers with my chili, but I like Fritos too. And I like those big ones. You know, you can get those big old scoops. I like to eat my chili with those scoops. But I love this because um, this right here gives you a little base on the bottom. And um, this just, this right here is just, I, I like, and like I said, what I like about it is budget friendly. If you, this right here, you can feed a family of four and you probably have enough, I don't know, you, they may eat it up, but you may have enough left to uh, take your dinner the, the next day. Okay. Now, we reserved a cup of Fritos in the beginning, so we're gonna put those on top. More or less. Whatever you wanna do. And then top it off with some more cheese. This is probably a dish that you could make the night before. You think? I Put mean, it in the refrigerator and pop it in the oven when you get home? You probably could. Kids that eat anything, they don't care. They, <laughs> it could be in the refrigerator two days and they'd eat it. We come home from school. I'll later. eat it. <laughs> We put it just let's, let's, uh, let's top that with just a little bit of just a little right, bit of all purpose. No, no, this now. is not hot. This is our all purpose seasoning. This is uh this is garlic, uh pepper, a uh, little bit of paprika, and got a few other secret ingredients. Nah, it's not no secrets. It's just your basic salt, pepper, garlic, onion, salt. Um just 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 a one blend. So a lot of times when you're cooking, of course you can't put chili powder in this, but a lot of times when you're cooking, uh you, you can use a any kind of all purpose and it covers a lot of different things so you're not trying to dump this and dump that um, it just it's just a good variety and I just like to I like to sprinkle it on and it's low sodium so when people put it on it looks like you're putting a lot but you're really not yeah, yeah. you're not okay. putting a putting a lot at all so you can um, you can pop that in this if, is it put it 350 degree oven for about this is only 15 to 20 minutes so that will be ready if you'll open that and put it in what about that time? It's okay. I'm going to set it right here. Like I say, you can slide it right there on that rack right there. Okay. okay. All right. We'll let that. You said, how long did you say? 30? About 15 to 20 oh, minutes. Oh, 15. It was 30 one. minutes on the apple 30 crisp. 30 minutes right? on the apple crisp. So we, we, we got a couple of different timers. We need to keep going right here so we don't we don't burn either one of them up. You know what? While we're, while we're right here and got a minute, I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Hand me that knife that you laid over there. I'm going to go ahead and cut this onion up because you know what? Somebody might want a little bit more onion to go on top of theirs and that jalapeno. I may chop it up in a minute, but I'll have to find me another glove because I don't want to I don't want to cut that up and touch my eyes. But I'm going to cut this up. You know, I was thinking on the way over here this morning is got up real early and as I was just kind of talking to myself and talking to God, I, you know, it's it's a beautiful day that God has given us. Mm -hmm. I was thinking, I mean, it just, I watched, you know, it was kind of cloudy, and, and the, but the sun did kind of come up in the background of the clouds this morning, and I got to, got to witness that, and I was thinking about how good God is and reflect back of how good he's been in my life and um, the doors he's opened, and, you know, and we don't rejoice about this too much, but sometimes we need to rejoice about the doors that he closes in our lives. Mm -hmm. You know, there's different chapters, there's different seasons to our life, and I, I talk about it a lot when I, when I witness to people and tell them, you know, we, we thank God for all the good stuff, and sometimes the, the bad we should even thank God in because, you know, even though things seem real bad, God could be protecting you from a lot of different things in your That's life. Right. But I was, just, I was reflecting this morning, just thinking how good he'd been in my life and how many, how many times he showed up and showed out. Uh, he'll do the same thing in your life. Um, you know, this is the day that the Lord has made. And I don't know about everybody else, but I'm going to rejoice and be yeah. glad in it and thank him for what he's doing in my life. And, you know, this could be your day of salvation. You know, the scripture clearly says that whosoever should call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, and today could be your day of salvation. So, you know, just think about that and reflect on those things as, you know, 
God, God only hadn't even gave us just uh, food to cook, but he gives us a place to prepare. So yep. we're going to go to a quick break, and we're going to come back, and we're going to plate this up, and we're going to eat and have a good time. Yep. Don't go away. Come right back. All right. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. The food is ready. We're about to see what these dishes look like and what they taste like. Here's that apple crisp. I'll sit it out That's there. That's the apple crisp. Now, like I said, if you get you some vanilla ice cream, you'll eat the whole thing by yourself. And I, and I may miss Cleveland and leave that in there a few minutes longer. I like it good and brown. I like it when it's good and brown. see that. That's probably a little hot. So, yeah, go ahead and plate that up. And you probably need another. Let's see. I need to find you. You need to get some of that out, that apple crisp. That's all right. We can put a little bit right there on the side. You got to be able to taste test it. I'm gonna taste test this one right here. This is what I'm gonna taste. There's your fork. You got to taste that. Mmm, that is really good. You need to try this, brothers and sisters. It's gonna burn up. Is it good? <laughs> Nothing it's like good. chili and Fritos. It's very good. Brothers and sisters, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for hanging out with us. And, and until the next time, we'll be back on the master's table, but we're going to have another good dish for you. We're going to have a good one. So y'all have a wonderful day, and may God bless you real good. And always remember, God is good all the time. All the time.